to uh, Chuck Grassley on all of this right now, the Iowa Republican, uh, uh, the Senate Judiciary Committee, much, much more. Uh, they call him the senior member of the United States Senate, but he's, he's, he's not so senior to me. Anyway, Senator Grassley, very good to have you. How you doing? Very good. How are you doing? Very good. Um, you know, you, you touched on something that was on everyone's mind in your remarks today uh, with, with Judge Barrett, this idea that, you know, it, it, it could get ugly, it could get nasty. It reminded folks about a certain decorum that's well, kind of been lost over these last few nomination hearings. How do you think this one's going to go, Senator? Well, it's going to go good from this standpoint. I think that the Democrats realize how qualified this person is, and they can't in any way attack her there. So you heard a whole day of Democrats, every one of them, distracting and distorting because this nominee is so very well qualified to be on the court. Uh, and I think it's going to not be as bad as Kavanaugh, but they're going to get into the weeds to scare every voter in America that your uh, health insurance is going to be taken, uh, taken away from you on November the 10th. I think Biden said that today, a uh, week after the election. They're going to have this case brought up. Uh, he's a lawyer. He ought to know better than lie to the American people that this case won't be made public maybe for months down the road. And a lot of times they don't do it until the last couple weeks of June. So to lie to the American people to say on November the 10th your insurance is going to be taken away from you, uh, uh, we just can't let that stand. And, and tomorrow we're going to have to, as Republicans, not only question her about the things we want to know about her and how she might handle certain cases, but we, uh, yeah. we're going to have to use a lot of our time to keep them from lying about her. All right. Well, we'll see. I mean, one of the first issues that the court would be taking up if she were to join it is a key uh, provision of the Affordable Care Act that gets back to funding and all of that. Uh, but, but, you know, the problem for Republican senators, you know, is that you never came up with an alternative plan of your own. You missed it by one vote when John McCain famously was thumbs down on a proposal that could have moved the ball forward. So Republicans are on defense on this issue. Are you concerned that just as it helped Democrats win the House a couple of years ago, it's going to help them even more now. No, because there's so many issues in this campaign that are so much bigger than that. And one of them is dealing with what we're talking about today. Uh, Biden not willing to tell people, does he want to pack the court? And by packing the court, I mean uh, go above where it's been for 50, 150 years right, right. to a 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. He, he says, just like they did on Obamacare. You remember Pelosi says, we got to pass it to find out what's in it. You've got to either defeat uh, Biden or elect him to find out what he's going to do about packing the court and change the, the Constitution uh, very dramatically by making the uh, uh, Supreme Court what they want to be a super legislator as opposed to doing what the Supreme Court's supposed to do, interpret law and not make law. All right. Senator, you think she could still be confirmed by Election Day? Uh, uh, yes, I'd say at least no later than the Tuesday, one week before the election. Wow. All right. Two weeks from tomorrow. We shall see. Uh, Chuck Grassley, always good catching up with you. Thank you.